How's it going everybody? I am currently at Tim's Fish and Tackle Shop in La Pine. This is Josh, he is the owner of the shop. Um, you got, you want to give a brief, like, where are you guys at? What's your address? Sure, we're at uh, 16343 Burgess Road in La Pine, Oregon. Our phone number is 541-241-2484 if you want to get a hold of us. Um, they have this beautiful largemouth bass hanging up. So when you guys are driving down the road, like all these trucks that are going by, You'll be able to pull in and make sure you guys stop. Uh, we're gonna go inside and do like a quick, quick, quick little overview of the shop. Um, kind of show you guys what they have. I have boat parking. He has boat parking. But you guys can see the parkings over there. Um, I'll make sure that in the description there is like a Google link for them so you guys can see the address and everything. Um, I'll probably put, he runs Central Oregon Fishing Report. You run that, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's on Facebook. There'll be a link for that in the description. So if you guys are on Facebook, you guys can go check that out. And he posts pretty daily on there? Yep. Daily? So it's daily posts so that you guys can follow that. Um, it's, it's the best fishing shop in La Pine. Everything's cheap. It's cheaper than Bymart, uh, cheaper than anywhere else. We are the only local tackle shop in all of Central Oregon. We do have competitors like Bymart, Walmart, for example, but they just have fishing departments. We are a 100% tackle shop. Yeah, so let's go ahead and go inside and then give you guys a tour. Outside the shop, you'll find dollar lures, and they're not even cheap lures. There's all kinds of nice lures in here. There's been known to be sneak sniders, um, coho slammers. We've had blue foxes out here before, rooster tails, bang tails. Uh, we have all different types of Thomas Boyants. This is just everything you see on this table is a dollar, and there is a ton of stuff to go through. Plunk and big old plunk and spinning gloves. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. I can actually tell you guys I bought like ten dollars worth of things out of here because I was like, dude, can't leave the store without those. But yeah, you guys can just look. There's literally everything. We got moochin setups, lots of moochin setups, gooey bobs. Yeah, gooey bobs. I actually bought some of those. A uh, bunch of little spinners. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Got. Dude, look at that you get three spoons for a dollar you get three for a dollar um yeah there's just a little bit of everything i mean life jackets those aren't a dollar i don't think no but <laughs> yeah you guys can check but that life jacket's only three dollars yeah, it's only three dollars these life so, jackets are only three dollars <laughs> yeah so we're gonna uh yeah he's pretty much got a little bit of everything but this is where you go inside and uh here come yeah, on yeah. let's go inside yeah, follow us in when you walk into the shop the first thing you'll see is my Product display of J-plugs. We have all different sizes from a size 3 all the way up to a size 5 to get after your real big Mackinac or your Chinook salmon. Um, followed right immediately by all of the terminal tackle. You have all of your hooks, weights, duo locks, um, different types of snell rigs, split rings, jig heads. Uh, you name it, it's on here if it's terminal. Um, they have, so I kind of want to point something out really quick on that. Um, when you guys come in, like, you know, some... Going to Walmart or somewhere like that, they very like they have very simple selections. If you guys can look, they have everything from like Gamagatsu to Eagle Claw. So they literally have like from something like simple, you know, like these little lake and stream hooks to really name brand hooks for you and guys. When was the last time you saw a three out Gamagatsu pack for two dollars? Two dollars. Yeah, that's pretty intense. As you move forward, we got our steelhead. Uh, our steelhead spinner, I guess you would call it here. You've got all different types of jigs. We have all of our natural colored beads. Those are only from, $2 a pack. From cream colors all the way down to your natural row colors. On this side, we have all of your yarn needs. And on this side over here, you have all of your pearl patterns of beads. As we move forward, we have other different types of jigs, such as arrow jigs, maxi jigs, and just a random assortment of jigs. Dude, look at that. That's a fish killer right there. I guarantee you. That is, that's a $2 jig. Here's a good one, guys. This is one that people really love when they come to my shop. Typically, a 12 pound downrigger ball, most people retail this at $65. Plus, if you're gonna order it online, you're gonna have to ship it. If you come down here to my shop, a 12 pound downrigger ball is $32. It is half the price of most every other competitor. Um, as we move further down this table, we've got all different types of corkies. There is a, a huge array of corkies. They're only five for a dollar. We have a huge array of different jig heads, um, more corkies, hoochies from your standard size hoochies, small kokanee hoochies, and we even have your halibut size Dude, hoochies. That thing's huge. The halibut hoochie, yeah. Dude, bobber stops that. galore. Both bobber if stops. If you like the rubber bobber stops instead of the uh, 
the uh, braided line rubber stop or stoppers. You can uh, get either one of them. Line galore, check this out right here. This is a four pound or even how about a 15 pound whole spool. What do we got? 300 yards here, $4. They have braid too. Braid they as well. They have everything from monofloral all the way to braid. As we work further down the table here, this is basically our discontinued lure section. There's a lot of great deals in here. Or there's certain situations where like, here is a Rapala that somebody added eyes to, so it's been altered. So it's a lot cheaper than your standard Rapala because it has altercations. There's all kinds of stuff in here from wiggle warts, Brad's wigglers, teaspoons, uh, mag lips, hot shots, you name it, it's probably hanging out in here. There's fat fish, they got more everything. mag warts. Yeah, some big old, big old wiggle warts there. Yeah, these are cool because like I can tell you guys, I have a hard time finding steelhead plugs like down in the valley because everyone buys them up. But like that right there, that's only $5. Like that's significantly less than in a store. And, and that lure right there is brand new. It has just come out of its package. So it's inside of a bag, but that lure has literally never been fished. Yeah. And what's cool about something like this is if you guys were like at all questionable, you could always take it out and look at it. You know, just take it out of the bag and check it out. And Most definitely. Yeah, make sure you guys, you know, know that it's a legit lure. As we move forward this way, I have a wall of flatfish and quickfish from all different types of blends. Here's one of Devin's personal favorites right here, the pirate. I bought one of those earlier. That is a really <laughs> good one. Another really good combination is the flatfish rainbow pattern kind of hard it doesn't want to flip over there's one that's got one that's a little flipped over but that's a really popular blend i've got these for days guys as this as this empties i can constantly refill them i know that you guys have probably seen oaky drifters i've got lots of oaky drifters and birdie drifters um there is a dip a whole array of u.s made quick fish inside here each plug can kind of vary depending on its pattern of what its cost looks like but if you're if you're into the uh, Hood River, Oregon, U.S. made quick fish, you will know exactly what I mean. Uh, so those can definitely vary. Uh, like this one, for example, that's a $15 plug. Uh, but, you know, I look up all these on eBay and um, other different facets, and I typically try to drop about 25% below whatever cost you're typically seeing to be able to pick up that exact plug. I can tell you guys 100%. That's like a real thing. There's actually a whole Facebook group on buying, selling, and like trading so I just recently got a, uh, I got a K16, um, it's the color's called pink eye. If you look it up, it never actually made it on the Lure Jensen catalog because it came out in 04 as a new color and Lure Jensen sold to China in 2005. So they only had a little bit less than a year to produce this new color and there was very few of them that were made. Uh, that being said, like I said, it never ended up on the catalog, even though it had a UPC and everything brand new, fresh inside of its box. I put it on eBay. That quick fish sold for $301. So there's a huge yeah, market, it's a big market. In, in crazy, super rare quick fish. Uh, as we move around the corner of this rack, we've got all different types of Rapalas. We've got countdown style Rapalas, floating style Rapalas. I've got dive two style Rapalas. I've got jointed Rapalas, shad wrap Rapalas. I have uh, shad wrap jointed Rapalas, glass wraps. I've got Risto wraps, Trolls twos, Esco wraps, um, Crank and Cracks. I got a lot of different he's, styles he's of Rapalas. He's got all the wraps. <laughs> I have Rapalas for days. Over here is my uh, fly section. There's quite a different array of flies going on in here. And if uh, we don't have the exact fly that you're looking for, we actually have a personal tire and he goes ahead and ties all different types of flies. We do, uh, we can make custom flies, we can make custom lures, we can make custom kokanee rigs or trolling rigs. We do a lot of custom, custom, custom. Yeah, peep over and see Jason. So if you guys want something <laughs> custom kit and tied, come in here and see Jason. He'll actually tie you up something on that spinner maker right there. We got lots of random stuff inside the case from super high-end reels or pieces that are, uh, you know, lost in time, like the Oki Drifters or the, the Crocodile Blue Mackerel. The Snoopy the Bobber. The Snoopy Bobber. <laughs> um, all different types of fillet knives, buoy knives, um, bait cooking cast, knives, bait caster reels, bait Swiss caster. Army knives. Let me see the fish trap really quick, Jason. Here's an interesting little unique thing. This is a survival tool. So you pull this guy out, you click this over and you set it inside the spool. It sits there. This end you throw inside the water. Now I have to mind to tell you, 
This is illegal unless it is used for only survival purposes. <laughs> but what happens is the fish comes along, the fish hits this, it triggers that, and now it is spring fed. The fish sits there and fights and fights and fights until he finally gives up the ghost and the fish ends up just sitting right there where your trap was located. So if that's you get actually... stuck in the middle of the woods, <laughs> you got cool. your, you're able to fish without even being there. As we turn around day. right here behind you, we've got our kokanee section, all different types of kokanee jigs. Here's a pink kokanee jig with a green uh, all-seeing eye, straight green, chartreuse, candy apple green, white, orange, you name it. We do all different types of kokanee rigs. We make our own custom, these are called amoebas that we put on the end of our kokanee rigs with our small blades. And then we also do micro shrimp setups on the end of our kokanee rigs. Definitely gets the fish going crazy. So if you guys don't have something like that, if somebody comes in, will you guys tie something up like that for them? Absolutely, absolutely. So that actually brings me to over here. So when somebody comes in and wants a custom kokanee rig, we actually have a tester tank where we can take your custom lure or your custom kokanee rig and we can actually drop it inside the tank that and we awesome. can see what that looks like. So yeah, we have all different types of styles. We do different blades, double different blade. double blade. Here's what we call a midnight blade, a midnight double blade. Everything is all blue and dark. We got the blue amoeba, all matching colors on the amoebas and the micro shrimp. But yeah, custom, custom, custom. We have uh, the V blades, almost every type of blade that you can think of. Uh, as we come over here, we have a wall of all your different styles of flashers and dodgers uh, from 360 uh, spinner, 360 flashers all the way to triangle flashers, round edge triangle flashers. Maybe you're looking for some wobble dodgers. Maybe you're looking for some lure Jensen 360 large chromers. Maybe you don't have a downrigger and you need to get down 125 feet. We've got the deep sixes for you or the different types of jet planers. Moving further over, we have all different sorts of uh, lake trolls by uh, Lure Jensen. So Ford Fenders, Mini Ford Fenders, uh, Willow Leafs, Minnows, Beer Cans, Doc Sheltons, all different kinds of stuff. Tons of old stock Lure Jensen Nordic jigs, tons of buzz bombs, two bucks for a buzz bomb, two bucks for a zinger. So I got heck good deals going on. And uh, on these flashers, too, we have a whole bin down here. If you don't mind using something that somebody may have used before, like there's not anything wrong with that flasher right there. Three dollars for that. Three bucks. As we go around the corner here, we've got different styles of spin glows and a lot of your different uh, just standard essential needs from different kind of cowbells, a stringer, clippers, real grease, scales, uh, D hookers, maybe you got a headache, some Advil, maybe the sun's burning <laughs> your lips, maybe you need to sharpen your hook, maybe you need some batteries, maybe the bugs are biting you. This is the overall general extra stuff. As we come around the corner, we start to get into more of our trout gear from crocodiles, tiger tails, bang tails, super dupers. I have a super duper right here that is before they did barcoding. Dude, this, so guaranteed this lure is older than 1952 because that's when we started implementing the whole uh, UPC system. Uh, we've got different, uh, more uh, flasher styles by Les Davis instead of Lure Jensen. Uh, different rudders to replace your rudders. I got them all the way from a size 1 all the way up to a size 6. All different Blue Fox Vibrexes. I have Tasmanian Devils. These are things that were totally lost from the 90s. I used to crush fish as a kid on these, and they're just impossible to find anymore. Lots of different Panther Martins. I've got a bunch of different UV blends and holographic blends, uh, all different kinds of rooster tails. MEPS, maybe you want to do your own uh, prism tape to uh, change a color of a lure. Got all that covered for you. Heck, I even, if you want to go catch some shark, I got you covered. <laughs> I got steel leader in uh, 42 feet. So we got you covered for whatever species it is you're chasing. Over here you've got crappie. Uh, there's an entire section of just all types of skirts and little crappie jigs. Here's some more divers, side planers, duo locks. We have a Mackinac section right here with the heavier braid, 30, 40, 50 pound. Some of the larger quick fish and, uh, and foxy fishes that uh, those Mackinac those tend before. to like or big large spoons. Maybe you need to jig down on top of them with some super big jigs. 
That is a big, heavy jig. Most people use this for halibut, but it can also be used for Mackinac because they're down super deep. If you want to tie your own flies, we've got fly tying set up, uh, a whole bass section over here. Maybe you need a big old swim bait. Maybe you need a, a halibut rig, or uh, you can use this. This is called a, a herring aid. So you actually, you take a live herring, well, not a live herring, but a, a whole herring is what I mean. Shove his nose inside there, run these through it. Now your herring is basically a Rapala. That's pretty sweet. So that's a pretty cool little setup. We got frogs, we've got more uh, Rapala brand, rattle wraps, different styles of crawdads, spinner baits, creature baits. Maybe you just need a replacement skirt for your creature bait or your spinner bait. Um, different style of, uh, of um, crate baits for bass, all sorts of plastics. Yeah, all kinds of plastics. There's Look just plastics and plastics and plastics in here for days. Um, we've got your Sanko worm needs covered, different styles of creature baits. This is just an absolute plethora of fishing gear. And if you come and visit us, you won't be out of luck because if you come over here to my map, we are located inside of a fishing mecca. So here we are right here at the shop on Burgess Road, and within about a 50 mile radius, you've got over 150 different options that you can fish from, from rivers, streams, natural lakes, reservoirs. They are literally everywhere. Another really cool section of the shop is the vintage section. So here is where we have lots of different stuff that is 50s, 40s even. Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff from the 60s here. But, uh, you know, like this is an old school balsa wood glass eye plug right there. I mean, they just do not make those like that anymore at all. Um, all different sorts of reels, rods. There's some bamboo rods right back here behind the door. Uh, you name it, there is just tons of stuff. There's an old Mitchell, a couple of old Mitchells. Uh, we get lots of damn quicks. Here is a... 1950s tackle box that is metal construction with a lock and yes I still have the key for it <laughs> so this is a, a Waterloo box uh, if you know you know and the fact of this thing's age and the fact that that key is still there and intact with it is just absolutely incredible so We've got a little bit of everything. I got a section of the sh behind the shop that we call the treasure trail. It's full of all different types of yard art, folk art, random little knickknacks and doodads. Maybe you want to take home a little uh, gnome for your front yard. We got stuff like that. But yeah, come on down to the tackle shop and we would love to see you.